applying proportion. Where do we use proportion? We can use proportion in baking, for instance. If a recipe makes 12 cupcakes, but we need 48, what will we do to the recipe? We have to increase all the ingredients four times. Okay, so the in original ingredients call for is for 12 cupcakes. It's two eggs, five milliliters of baking powder, and 125 grams of flour. Now, because we want four times as many cupcakes, we don't want 12, we want 48, we have to increase the ingredients four times. Two eggs times four gives us eight eggs. Five milliliters of baking powder times four gives us 20 milliliters of baking powder. 125 grams of flour times four gives us 500 grams of flour. This is an example of direct proportion as the amount of uh, all the amount all no, as the amount of ingredients that uh, cupcakes we needed increase all the ingredients also in increased. And the recipe on the left and the recipe on the right is on the ratio 1 to 4. Another example of where we use proportion in everyday life is there is a serious drought. A farmer has enough food to feed his 120 goats for seven days. If the farmer can only get more food 21 days from now, how many of his goats must he sell in order for them all to survive on the same amount of food for 21 days? So 120 goats, you can keep that for 7 days. If we halve the amount of goats, so we divide the amount of goats by 2, we can get double the amount of days. So we can have 60 goats survive for 14 days. If we again halve the amount of goats, so 60 divided by 2 is 30, we can again keep them for double the amount of days. 14 times 2 is 28 days. If we again half the amount of goats, so 30 divided by 2 is 15, we can keep them for twice the amount of days again. So 28 times 2 is 56. Let's put it in a graph. Okay, so 21 days will be 40 goats. So it means that the farmer can keep 40 goats. But remember, the question was not how many goats can he keep. The question was how many goats must he sell. So 120 minus 40. gives us 80. It means that the farmer has to sell 80 of his goats for the flock to be able to survive for 21 days. But how can we calculate that 40 goats that the farmer can keep? Did you notice that 120 times 7 gave us 840. 60 times 14 gives us 840. 30 times 28 gives us 840. 50 times 15 times 56 gave us 840. It means that the farmer has enough feed to feed one goat. for 840 days. Right. So, 21 times what will give us 840? The inverse of multiplying is dividing. So, 
840 divided by 21 is 40, day, 40 goats. So remember, the question was, how many goats must he sell? So if he can keep 40, and we just calculated the 40, he must sell 120 goats minus the 40 that he can keep. He must sell 80 of his goats. And that is the application of direct and indirect proportion.